Oh. Oh. I caught this weird looking fish. <laughs> no. Uh. Oh. Oh. Don't worry, Wolfu. This oh. is a kind of fish that uh. can breathe outside of oh. water. You want to know more? Let knowledge click. This is a lungfish. They are called a living fossil because they first appeared nearly 400 million years ago, back in the time of the dinosaurs. A lungfish can breathe with gills underwater and with lungs on land. Inside its body, there's a pair of primitive lungs, like air-filled balloons. When the water runs low, it comes up to the surface to breathe air, just like we breathe with our nose. Even more amazing, the lungfish can bury itself in the mud and use its lungs to survive for months without water. Oh! How long can it stay like that, Professor? <laughs> a lungfish oh. can sleep in its mud cocoon for months, even a year, without food or water. Some experiments show that lungfish can even survive after the mud around them hardens like stone. Wow. Are there any other animals that can do the same thing as the lungfish? And it's not just lungfish. Some other fish can also live on land, like mudskippers, climbing perch, or walking catfish. Ooh, wow! This fish is so amazing! Mm. Oh. That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't let your dog eat chocolate. Mm. Mm. Huh? Do you know why we shouldn't let your dog eat chocolate? Let knowledge click. The chocolate we eat is made from cacao beans. Cacao beans contain some dangerous stuff for dogs and cats, like caffeine and theobromine. When people eat chocolate, they might feel more energetic. The dogs process these chemicals much more slowly, which makes them easily to get poisoned. <laughs> Besides chocolate, there are other foods dogs shouldn't eat, like avocado, onions, garlic, and coffee. Dogs are often curious about strange new foods. So, we need to keep a close eye on them. Oh. Mm. <laughs> so, what if a dog accidentally eats something it shouldn't? If your dog eats something bad, tell an adult and call the vet right away. <laughs> hmm. Oh. I just save you big time. Mm. Do you know what happens if you get stung oh. by a bee? Mm. Let knowledge click. Oh. Honeybees are social insects, which means that they live ah. together in large, well-organized family groups. Huh. When they feel threatened, or even their hive is invaded, bees will sting the attacker to protect their hive and queen. First, the bees stick a stinger into the target skin. The stinger is like a tiny barb needle that sticks firmly in the skin. Venom is gradually pumped through the stinger into the body causing redness, swelling, and pain. When the bee stings, its stinger gets stuck and tears up part of its body, which causes its life. So, bees only sting when they really have to. So what should we do if we get stung by a bee? 
When the bee stings, its venomous stinger gets stuck in our skin. The first thing to do is to quickly remove the stinger. <laughs> Washing the sting thoroughly helps reduce the risk of venom spreading. After that, apply a cold compress to the sting to help reduce the pain. Ooh, wow! <laughs> if you get stung, it's best to fly on a doll right away for help. Ooh, I'm so thirsty. Oh. <laughs> Uh, uh, so mm. salty! Uh, 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 oh. I'm sorry. Mm. Sea water isn't for drinking, dear. Why is it so salty? Did someone put salt in it? Mm. I'll tell you why. Let knowledge click. Rain water falls to the ground. As it flows, it wears away rocks and soil. Some chemical reactions also happen when rain touches the rocks, creating minerals. These mineral salts then flow into rivers, and from there, they travel all the way to the sea. The salt stays in the sea because the water doesn't flow away. Then the sea water evaporates up into the sky, but the salt stays behind. Little by little, more and more salt is left. And that's why the sea is salty. Hmm. Wow! <laughs> There's another reason the sea also gets salt from. Underwater volcanoes deep beneath the ocean. There are thousands of volcanoes working under the ocean. When sea water slips through cracks and meets the hot lava, it picks up more salt and minerals, then flows back into the sea. Wow! That's why oh. sea water is too salty to drink. But it still has many other great uses. Hmm. You can swim and play in the sea. Some things in sea water are even good for your skin. People also make salts from sea water. The same kind of salt your mom uses to cook yummy food for you. I got it! Next time, I'll bring fresh water to drink. Wow! Oh. Wow! Ooh. Look! Oh. Smoke is coming out of the mountain! <laughs> is someone having a barbecue inside? It's not a barbecue, dear! That's a volcano! <laughs> I'll tell you oh. what it is! Huh? Let knowledge click! <laughs> Deep inside our Earth! It is very hot. It's so hot that it melts the rocks inside. The melted rocks are called magma. When the magma comes up and flows out of the volcano, we call it lava. Wow! Is it like when boiling water spills over? That's right. <laughs> How hot could the lava be, Dr. Who? Ah. It's even hotter than your mom's pizza oven. Mmm. It can burn everything on its way. Yeah! We can just use water to put it off. That wouldn't work, kids. There are thousands of underwater volcanoes deep in the ocean that are still active. <gasps> oh no! Do the fish get burned? In some places near underwater volcanoes, the water gets so hot, it changes color. But some super special creatures can still live there. Volcanoes are amazing. But they can also be very dangerous if we don't know how to stay safe. So remember these important rules, kids. If you hear a volcano warning on the radio or TV, Get your emergency bag ready! Pack clothes, food, water, a flashlight, 
a first aid kit, and anything important. Quickly leave the danger zone, just like the grown-ups tell you. And wear a mask, so you don't breathe in the volcano dust. Once you're in a safe place, just stay calm and wait until it's safe again. We got it! <laughs> That's it for today. Join Wufu as he continues exploring the amazing world in the next episodes. <laughs> Discover everything around us on Wolfu Explore Channel!